see. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. It, it looks like you were wrong about Sharp Tooth. What do you mean? He didn't take this. He didn't take it from the caravan? No. Oh. Sorry, oh. Sharp Tooth. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. But you need to work on... When you when, when you say yes, and you mean yes, you shake your head up and down for yes. Up no, down, you're yes. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Go away with words, hasn't he? Quite. I mean... Is the rabbit ready, Yaji? He'll look at it. As you'll see, like, half of the rabbit's now starting to... To get slightly overdone, it's like yes, it's it seems to be quite ready. Okay, well, I'll let you dish it up. Don't fuck it Just up. Just take what you need. Just off of the pan. What pan? Just off of the pike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little concerned about the fire. It's not like it's See, in the stupid! Fire. As he goes, or Sharp Tooth goes and takes the spit out of the ground <laughs> and takes the rabbit. Alright, alright. Takes up, picks one of them up. Roll a sliding hand. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Wait, why did, why did, why did Sharp Tooth need to roll a sliding hand? Come on. Because <laughs> I'd, I'd say it's holding the idiot ball, so he needs to do it. I was joking. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, I was I was down for rolling. Because you would have failed it. <laughs> I would have fallen in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we roll it anyways? <laughs> Please don't make me roll it. No, I'll roll a d4, evens yes, odds no. No. Damn it. Okay, so I just pick it up. Okay, thank f for it's not okay. I take a bite of the rabbit and just sit back down. Yeah, um, I'll take some. It is pretty good. It's not a cuisine level of like, oh man blow off your clothes type of ecstasy good but it's good this isn't food wars this is real I people you... <laughs> will take some and be good to eat carefully <laughs> and as you all begin to you sit look around it... for Farah. as you look for Farah, it doesn't look like she came out of her dwelling yet and neither has crystal what about uh, Mulan and Mulan? Well, Mulan has not either. And Kite is kind of not really associating with you guys. She's leaning back and letting the light rain just hit on her frame while she's laying in the grass. Well, the turf. And the Garnox is over in the area just sitting there, seemingly grazing on the grass over there. Do you, you want to come over? I go, I say, looking at Kite. She raises an arm and kind of just flippantly waves. It's your group. I don't want to intrude. I mean, we have Rabbit. Aren't you hungry? I've never been one to really mooch off of other people's foods. I'm well, fine. It's gonna go a waste if you don't. I'd rather it be eaten than thrown away. She picks her head up and looks over there. How many rabbits did you have, Anthony? Five. Oh, okay. And they're all in bits. As a uh, yay crystal and I.
she would kind of just shrug and kick up to her feet and make her approach over there. I'm also not one to deny an offer twice. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> so, uh, Kite, um, is that short for anything, or is Kite just your name? Kittyara. Kittyara. You want to spell that? No. <laughs> are you asking me, or are you asking her? I'm asking you so I know how to put down. Yes, actually. Cool. Where does that name come from? Two shrugs. Probably some place that my mother or father deemed it entertaining to name me. Right. So now all your kinds have names differently. So it's your kind. They do have last names, right? I do have a last name, but it's not something either of you would be, neither, none of you would be able to speak. Why is that? Because it's in my... She brings her fingers up and does the finger quotes, home tongue. Is that too conic? She would not. Why? I can speak. Why the, the? Why the fingers? She kind of looks at Vedrum, surprised, but continues asking or er, answering Akko. Because it's not a place that I call my home. So it's not my home. It might be what I'm born from. But I decide my own dwelling. My past doesn't. So Echo will think of that answer a bit and then ask, So what, where do you call home? She looks at you, looks at the rabbit. When I figure that out, I'll make sure to let you know. Oh, she starts to eat on it. <laughs> well, on to another topic, I guess. How many of you know much about the Cruxes? I know they exist. I think I fought a few a while back. That's pretty much it. This one's amusing. He's only one that I haven't had the urge to kill. Ooh. I don't know much about them at all. The only thing I know is what GovGov and Sharp2 have told me. That is apparently that half orcs tend to be very mean to them for some reason. Um, because through a large part of their life, they're forced to do slavery. Men to obey their will. I don't like that. As a, yeah, yeah, as you will look to Sharp Tooth. It was like a, Ooh, you see Sharp Tooth, like, on the house you made for him, just eating the rabbit in a predatorial of it yes in a predatorial stance like making sure not to have his back to anybody and like chews really quickly then like pulls off the flesh and skin just like looks around while he's eating and then goes back down to chew again huh. like Sh sharp tooth would you like to join us down here no you try to take sharp tooth food like you took sharp tooth ferret. Yes. And that was wrong of me. Didn't As he give us the food? Just let him yeah. relax for a bit.
Um, and I'll say, but that was that was wrong with me. And I'm sorry. As I will hand him the ferret, or at least hold it out for him. It's like, would you like it back? Roll diplomacy. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, guys. Diplomacy with sharp tooth. What? <laughs> Oh, okay. Joke's on you, I have it straight. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you, his eyes squinting, as kind of like a, a dog. He just like slowly moves forward, his nose is twitching, until he's like still on the roof, like getting closer to your arm's length. And he'd attempt to snatch it out of your hands unless you don't want him to. I'll love with him. As he takes it, looking at you. Good human? And you are a good sharp tooth. Huh. As he backs back up to the top of the center of the roof. As he wraps the ferret carcass over his neck now. Sweet little guy. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe you can tell us more about yourself, Sharptooth, so we know not to do this again. You attempt to, but he's in the middle of eating. Kind of doesn't want to talk. Give him a while, he'll get around to it. Oh yeah. There's something I need to tell you. Table. It's nothing, uh, no, like, big revelation or anything. It's just, if we ever get in a fight again. Sounds a bit weird, but, uh, if I ever tell you all to close your eyes, I need you to do it. Okay, but I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> Alright, uh, I suppose I can let Nico out now. And he would open up his bag, and a ball of light would come out. And it would just start bashing you in the forehead over and over <laughs> again. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Nico, I'm, I'm sorry for keeping you in the bag, but you know you know, I have to do that. <laughs> Nico, I, t I told you I had to do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, alright? Is it, is it possible to sense motive that? <laughs> sure, you can give it a shot. <laughs> you use context clues and it seems like it must be upset <laughs> told you All right, people, people ask stupid questions when we're in towns alright <laughs> kind of questions I don't really have answers they want yeah you have to stay in the bag when we're in town I'm sorry but that's just what we have to do. Oh, we haven't so been in town cute. for quite a while. Yeah, so, I know, I forgot. <laughs> as the scene kind of unfolds, go ahead and describe what you're actually talking to, veteran. It is just a ball of light. Uh, every now and then it might uh, intensify or like fade down back a bit, but it is just a ball of white light. It, it doesn't have any features on it. It is a ball of light. <laughs> However, he seems to be talking to it as if it is a person. So... I believe you've already told us that you had a friend, right? I told you. I told Naomi. This is Nika. Nika's my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Adds a... Waves cautiously. Hello, Nika. Is it a is it a boy or a girl? Nika's a girl's name. Obviously, okay. I, I didn't want to assume. I could just look through that and criticize. He's like, what? <laughs> so, I hear noises from it. Can it only talk in that language? It's not really language, but yeah. 
Okay. Then how do you understand it? You can get what it means, you know? I get that it's very angry at you. Yeah, but... That's something I had to do. (laughs) I know you think it's not something I had to do, but it is something I had to do. Yeah, but you remember a year ago when I let you out in the town and we just got kicked out? <laughs> but if it's in her nature, should she not be able to do that? Do what? Be itself. <laughs> don't, don't, I know. Don't, don't get Nika kicked, kicked off, right? The ball of light starts to float know. next to Yaji and just like bouncing up and down. You betrayed me already, Nika. Maybe you should uh, treat her better. I, I has treat a quasitive Nika look. Very well. Thank you. Well, maybe the ball this of is light a would. Bad first <laughs> the ball of light would eventually float back over and rest comfortably in orbit around Veteran. So. Yeah. Anyway, long. Story short, uh, Nika helps me fight sometimes, and uh, well, Nika can get pretty bright, like really, really bright. As in, uh, if you look at it, it's it it, it it will blind you. You will be, you will be me. Yeah. Okay. So if I tell you to close your eyes or not look at me in a fight, I know it sounds weird and it sounds a bit annoying, but just just do it. I don't want to blind you and. Possibly Should kill we not you. look at you or her? Same thing. So okay. How bright do you glow? <laughs> as bright as she glows. It's it's her glowing, but in a, in a fight, she's she's pretty close to me. So. Ah. So, how long have you two known each other? Since birth. Ah. Old Tori are born with a... Uh, one of these. We call them uh, light infants. Well, we don't call them that. That's what it... Closest translation in common, but... Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, does she have any, like, what can she do other than blind people? Does she have any mass to her, or is it just, is it just light? (laughs) It flutters in front of you, blocking off Adze's view. I see. As it's talking to Vedrin. Oh, okay. (laughs) Well, I well, it doesn't have any mass, so I don't know if it's talking to veteran or not. <laughs> so, for all I know, it's looking at me talking. Just... I'm, I'm assuming he just PM'd him. No. I'm assuming. That's fine. All right, they don't know. They're just asking questions. Yeah, look, it's not like he's calling you fat or anything. All right, just calm down. Yeah, I know. Is there such thing as a skinny light orb? Don't don't question it. Don't question it. Okay. Wouldn't that be a white dwarf or a black hole? But she can make lights. I mean, uh, as long as you don't need to cook anything. It's just as good as a uh, fire pit. So she doesn't radiate heat? Not really, no. Okay. And she doesn't have any mass to her. Not really, no. Okay. (laughs) But she can be contained in a bag. (laughs) 
I don't, I don't think she likes that. Yeah, just... Okay. Stop, stop asking questions of, about, about her. Okay, just want to know... You make it up, it's self-conscious. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I just wanted to know the capabilities of our group members. All right. I, I, to I told you the capabilities you need to know about. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> he goes to, he goes for a shake of a hand, but then, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't particularly like you. I, I can tell. That's it's a usual feeling. That's just a charming fellow. <laughs> just goes back to eating rabbit. <laughs> So, as everybody's having a kind of like semi enjoyable time, <laughs> <laughs> Yaji, as you're just like smiling, enjoying just having something similar, if not fake, but close to a home life, you feel a sharp pain in the back of your head. Oh boy. I, it, like, physically? As you're immediately alerted to the northern end of your oasis. As Yaji's face will suddenly get alert and mute in expression. He'll hold out a hand, like, quiet everybody. As he'll start running towards the north, grabbing his bow along the way. As you turn and grab your bow, you get about three steps as you pause. As you watch, arcing over the canopy, a large, feathered, reptilian head standing <laughs> around 30 feet tall. Do you have a picture for that? You didn't. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I have a terrible feeling about this. You didn't. <laughs> Make sure no. you attack Echo first, please. <laughs> As you're, you pause in shock at the large, almost alien-like creature staring in towards the oasis and with that we're gonna take a break it's probably why we should have had a closed thing but whatever <laughs> well it's magic so it doesn't matter right yeah okay. the fact that it the fact that we can see it means it's already inside it uh, that's great that is one big creature holy crap yeah, we, we, we don't fight this. Hey, wait till you see its <laughs> attack. Uh. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure that we're not going to see its attack, no. Well, one so of us Did won't. you build your oasis around it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Was it just sleeping? <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We're going to be back here in approximately 10 to 15 minutes for the continuation of this week's game of Allies of Justice. So... See you guys within that period of time. Five. Peace. <laughs> We're going to was die. It just, was it just sleeping and you just thought it was like a big mound of like leaves or something? And you yeah, just so, so it's, 